I'm gonna mute you. Mute, mute. Okay. Going in, going in. In, girl. Okay. Hi, Leah. Hi, Janet. <laughs> it's just my mom on here, too. Just mom. Okay. All right, guys. Does that bother you? You're okay? Okay. All right, friends. Yay. Happy Sunday, everyone. And thank you so much for being here. Those of you who got here before me, thank you for being patient. I like, yeah, like there's supposed to be a class before mine, but I think a lot of times nobody shows up. So she just leaves. So every time I'm driving and I'm late, I'm like, I hope she's there. I hope she's there. But she wasn't here. So thank you just to be understanding. Um, let's see. As far as special announcements go. I have my embodiment class coming up now um, in two weeks. So not this coming weekend, but the following. It's on a Saturday night, 7 to 9 p.m. Um, it's yoga, breath work, and sound. The yoga we do is a little bit different than my typical classes. It's a little less, um, I don't want to say like regimented, but I just give you a lot more space to kind of move. At some points, we just are like dancing. It's um, lights are dim. It's fun. It's awesome. I think it's my favorite class to facilitate right now. So if you're around in a couple weekends, Saturday night, 7 to 9, $30, I'd love to have you. Um, you can sign up online. It's um, through the local co-op, not through Mosaic. So it's the local co-op, slc.com. If you have any questions, you're welcome to ask. And then other than that, let's just go ahead and get going. So does anyone have any questions before we begin? Comments, concerns, requests? Okay, let's do it then. So go ahead and find your comfortable seated meditation. And maybe sitting is not the most comfortable thing for you, but find what feels as comfortable as possible. So maybe you want to cross your legs, maybe you want to kneel, maybe you want to sit up on a block or a bolster. And then personally, I always like to move a little. So feel free to move a little bit, get your wiggles out, kind of feel into just your physical body. Notice how you woke up this morning, maybe how you slept last night, how your shoulders are feeling, how your spine is feeling, your hips. And then eventually, no rush, but eventually just find stillness. Bring your hands to rest in some way intentionally. So perhaps that's just on your lap, palms face down for a little more grounding, palms face up for a little more openness, receptivity. Or maybe you even want to bring your hands to your heart or one hand to heart, one hand to belly. So it's up to you. And then either close your eyes or if you prefer to keep eyes open, lower and soften your gaze. And just take these first couple of moments. See if you can let go of what comes next. See if you can let go of, bless you, the anticipation to move. And just let yourself be here, sitting noticing, observing. So notice how you feel physically, energetically, and emotionally. So notice if there are any emotions present for you this morning. Maybe there's a lot going on. Maybe there's not much. Notice your breath, the rise and fall, the expansion and contraction. Maybe you notice a texture, temperature to your breath. And next time you inhale, everybody, just fill up as big as you can. And when you think you're full, see if you can even sip in a little bit more at the top. Open your mouth and great big sigh. Ah, yeah, just let it go. Let's do that again two more times. So inhale, fill up. Take that moment of pause. Extra sip or two if you want it. And then open your mouth, release, let it go. Ah, beautiful. One more time like that. Biggest inhale you've taken all morning. Fill up every little space inside of you. Breathe into fingers, toes, up into the crown of your head. Take those extra couple sips if you'd like. 
And big sigh. Ah, very nice. Feel your lips now. And begin to cultivate what we call ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. So it's very different than just a typical nostril breath. You feel it, you hear it as it moves through the back of your throat. The inhale is almost like you're taking a really, really deep, slow motion gasp. The exhale is just like you're fogging up a window, ah, but with your lips sealed over the breath. So essentially, you're fogging up a window on the inside of your body. We're starting to build heat just by breathing. So be right here, connect to your own rhythm, your own the internal pulse of your breath for as long as you'd like. This is where you want to be the entire class. Awesome. If you want to come back here at any time during our practice today, just to kind of recenter, reconnect. Awesome. So this is always here for you. If you are ready to start moving, you're welcome to start from your seat if you'd like. So just keep your ujjayi breath going and kind of start exploring, maybe through your arms, maybe through your upper body, your torso. Maybe you're just rolling your head around a little bit, feeling into your neck. So anything goes from hands and knees and then eventually, or excuse me, from seated, and then eventually we'll come forward to hands and knees and just do the same thing. So whenever you are ready, start making your way from your seats into a tabletop position and just move any way your body wants to move from there. So you might start with cat cows. You might start by just sitting back into child's pose and giving yourself some grounding there, taking some deep breaths there. So be in your body. Try to get out of your mind, your critical mind, your judging mind. So that voice that says, do I look weird? Am I doing this right? What is everyone else doing? See if you can let that go. This is not about how you look. It's about what you are feeling, your felt experience from the inside. So see how many different ways can I get my spine to move? How many different ways can I get my shoulders, my shoulder blades to move? Maybe you get curious about bending one or both elbows. Maybe you want to crawl forward, crawl back. Nice job, everybody. So no right or wrong. Just your own exper experimental movement, curious movement. And then... When you are ready, when you feel complete here, just in your next few breaths, downward facing dog is our eventual destination. So you can start your own transition back whenever you are ready, no rush. Once you're back in down dog, same thing. Feel around, pedal out your heels, give your hips a little shift from side to side. Maybe give your head a little shake or a little nod. So in down dog, friends, try to let go of the need to straighten your legs. So if it feels good to straighten your legs, awesome. But if it feels better to bend your knees, bend your knees. Really just work the length from your fingertips all, all the way up to your sit bones. So as you press down firmly through your fingertips, see if you can feel an invisible rope attached to your belly button, pulling up, tugging back. So feel that lift that comes from your center. Good job, everybody. Take one or two more breaths in your down dog. And then just in your own time, start to slowly crawl your hands to the back of your mat until you are in a forward fold. So eventually you're just hanging out in a forward fold at the back of your mat. You can have a little or a big bend in your knees. Maybe ragdoll pose, grab opposite elbows, kind of bob, sway, bounce. So again, 
You do not have to get your legs straight in your forward hold. In fact, I would encourage a bend in your knees. Even a big bend in your knees is just fine. See if you can feel that invisible rope attached to your belly button pulling up towards the sky, crown towards the ground. So let your upper body be heavy. Let your neck relax. Take one more deep breath. Next, inhale, halfway lift position. So spine parallel to the ground. Get all the rounding out of your back. Exhale, bow and fold. Good. Let's do that once more. Halfway lift. So really stick your butt out. Crown of your head forward. See if you can squeeze through the tops of your thighs as you press back through your sit bones. Exhale, fold. Let it go. And this time, we'll come all the way up. So come through, halfway lift, keep leading with your heart, arms to the sky. Hands to heart center as you exhale. Nice job, friends. Inhale, take your arms up, high mountain. Exhale, slow dive. You can bring your hands together at your third eye if you don't have enough room to reach out to the sides. As you inhale, find your halfway lift position, lengthen. Good. Exhale, bow and fold. Press into your feet. See if you can lead with your heart to come up. All the way to stand. Arms reach up. Stretch tall. Hands to heart. Exhale. Let's take that one more time through. Try closing your eyes. Get out of your head. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Feel your body slowly move through space as you dive down. Yes. Inhale, beautiful, nice, so halfway lift position. So feeling all that length in your back body, all that length in your side bodies. Exhale, release and fold. Now press into your feet, heart leads, rise up. You can have a big bend in your knees as you're rising. Then big full body stretch. Hands to heart as you exhale. Good breathing, everybody. Inhale, take your arms up. We're just gonna add a little side body stretch. Grab your left wrist with your right hand, and then upper body to the right, send your hips to the left. So put more weight in your left foot, and especially the inner edge. Keep your left shoulder back and down, so feel it plugging into the socket. Breathe into your left side, left waistline, rib cage, the space between your ribs. Take one more round. Nice job. Inhale back to center. Switch your grip. So grab right wrist with left hand. Other side as you're ready. Imagine you're trying to create a crescent moon shape. So more weight in right foot. Press into the inner edge of your right foot especially. Sometimes I even like to reach my left tiptoes out to the left. So you can add that if you'd like. Keep your right shoulder plugged in, back and down. One more huge breath. See if there's any more space you can create. Thanks, Brianne. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down. If your tendency is to lock out your elbows today, try bending your elbows a lot. Press your palms together like they're suction cup, and then squeeze your elbows towards each other. Imagine just your fingers now are super glued together and you're trying to pull your fingers apart. So elbows together, fingers are pulling apart. See if you can keep that. And start to reach your hands back. Maybe add a little back bend. Don't let your head just collapse back, but puff up through your chest and curl open. Hips press forward, hug in with your inner thighs to protect low back. Take one more big inhale. Keep your clasp, hinge at your hips all the way down. Might help to bend your knees a lot. Yes, let your head be heavy. So hang out in your fold with your fingers interlaced. Couple more rounds. See if you can lift your knuckles up towards the sky. If you're pressing your palms together and you want to let that part go, that's okay. You might give your head a little shake. See if you can lift your butt, lift your sit bones. Up, 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 crown towards the ground, butt towards the sky. Last big inhale. Nice work. Exhale, hands to low back. Release your clasp nice and easy. Let your arms dangle. Let them hang. You can shake them a little bit. Feel your ujjayi breath. Next, inhale, halfway lift. 
As you exhale, plant your hands or your fingers and just slowly, like you're a four-legged creature, crawl forward, see if you can be light and graceful. Eventually, plank position. Yes, so top of a push-up. Nice, you guys. Once you're in your push-up or the top of a push-up, I should say, your plank pose, just hold here for a moment. Spread your fingers super wide. Draw your belly button in and up. Your hips should be level with your shoulders for a yoga plank. If you want to come to your knees at any time, totally fine. Take little baby rocks forward and back. So like you're sawing through a piece of wood with your body. Yeah. Next time you inhale, see if you can rock way forward onto your tippy, tippy toes. Keep that as you exhale lower halfway down. Knees can come down to modify. Inhale, push back up. Nice, die. Do that once more. Little rock forward, lower halfway, chaturanga hold. Strong arms, strong belly. Inhale, push up. Awesome, James. Nice, Shannon. Exhale slowly all the way to your belly this time. Take any back bend you want. So lift your heart, open through your front body. Maybe it's a baby cobra, full cobra, Spider-Man cobra, Sphinx, up dog. You do you. Take as much time as you want here. And then when you're ready, downward facing dog, find your way back. Big deep breaths. All right, we'll be in down dog for about five rounds. So if there's any way you want to explore, any way you want to move around in your own down dog, feel free. Just quickly, a question from me to you. If you would like a hands off practice today, you don't want any physical adjustments or hands on touch, give me one leg in the air to let me know. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. So back to down dog. And if you want to lift one leg in the air and then the other just to stretch on your own, feel free. You've got a couple more breaths. So anything goes, even in stillness, if your outer body is still, there's lots of things happening inside. There's lots of little micro movements, micro adjustments you can make. Good. Take one more big inhale, friends. Down dog. As you exhale this time, gaze forward and however you want to get there, top of your space, forward fold. Once you have arrived, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Ha. Root through your feet all the way up, arms to the sky, big stretch. And hands to heart, exhale. All right, we'll build our flow now. Inhale, arms reach up. Sit back into chair pose. So bend your knees, weight in your heels. Imagine there's a chair that's just a little too far behind you. You're trying to reach your butt back towards it. Yeah. Now see if you can pick up your toes and spread them. Feel that activation, that aliveness through your feet. Now, if you would like, press down through your toes and lift your heels up. Everybody swing your arms back. So even if your heels are still on the ground, arms swing back, either chair plane or drinking bird. Perfect. So squeeze your shoulder blades towards your spine. Awesome, M. Little lift in your heart. Can you feel a connection to your center, navel to spine? If you're on your tiptoes, see if you can get a little lower in your legs. You have more range of motion. Take one more breath. So nice. As you inhale all the way up, you can stay on your tiptoes if you want. High mountain. And maybe you stay on your tiptoes as you take your slow dive down. So if you're on your tiptoes, it's an exaggeration of what you want to feel every time you dive. Yes, feel your strong core. Nice, Trish. Heels on the ground as you breathe in. Halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands. Feet step back. Move through your vinyasa however you would like. So you can take it on your knees. You can substitute cat cows. You can skip it completely. Nice, Kai. So you do you, and we'll see you back in down dog. Big, deep, ujjayi breaths. All right. From your dog pose, next inhale, take your right leg to the sky. And if you want to, you can explore for a moment. You can open your hip, roll out your ankle, whatever feels good. But then eventually, everybody finds square hips. So inner thighs face one another. 
I do not care how high your right leg goes. Let's see if you can make it strong and powerful. So press up with your right foot as you press down through your hands. Bend your knees, bend, 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 bend. Yeah. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, right knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly, round your spine. Stay here as you breathe in. Push the ground away and see if you can round your spine even more. Lift your waistline higher. Step forward as soft as you can, like you're stepping over something. Very nice. And then rise up to your crescent lunge. So ball of your back foot and your back toes are on the ground. Make sure your hips are square and your back toes face directly forward. All of your toes face directly forward. Find stability in your legs by hugging in. So you're pulling front hip back, you're drawing back hip forward, and then feel a little tone in your lowest, deepest abdominals supporting your low back. So draw your belly button in and up and see if you can feel a little more length through your low spine. Heart is lifted. Your upper body is your personal expression. So feel into it. Feel your fingers. Maybe you're spreading them really wide or maybe you're softening. Bring awareness even into your face. Maybe you bring a little smile onto your face and just see how it feels. Take one more big inhale here. Awesome job, everybody. As you exhale, we will twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. Back knee bends to a hover, so you are in a turbo lunge. If you would like, you can always bring your back knee down gently. If your back knee is hovering, imagine you're trying to drag your back thigh forward. Your front hip wants to pull back. Pull it back, hug in with your inner thighs, twist from your center. If you want to balance challenge, gaze back over your right fingertips. Last round here. Amazing work. Inhale, come back to crescent lunge. And if you want to, extend your front leg, straighten your front leg, squeeze your front thigh. Good. Exhale, hands come down. And then root into your front foot, float your back leg up, standing splits. So I don't care if you open through your left hip or if you keep your hips square, both are right. Neither one is wrong. They're just different ways of working the pose. So feel what feels most efficient for you. What feels most beneficial? See if you can relax your neck just like you would in a forward fold and find strength in your core. Find strength in your left leg. Spread your left toes. So nice. Take one more inhale. Awesome, Chris. Exhale, Shiva squat. So left knee tucks in the back of your right knee. Both knees bend, get small. Nice, Anthony. Inhale, re-extend, standing splits, get long. And exhale, two more like that. Shiva squat, both knees bend, left knee tucks into the back of right. Little tiny ball balanced on your right foot. Inhale, re-extend, long, strong, and powerful. Last one, exhale, Shiva squat, feel your strong core all the way to empty. Inhale, re-extend, and then exhale, step your left foot all the way to the back of your yoga mat. This time, set up a warrior two stance with your legs, so pivot back, heel down, and cartwheel your arms up. So right toes face directly forward, left toes face directly to the left. Nice, Kirsten, and your front heel, or excuse me, your front knee wants to track towards your baby toe or try to get it to track towards your baby toe. So rather than collapsing in, front knee tracks towards baby toe, really wrap your right butt cheek underneath your body, press firmly into your back foot and try not to let your back hip pop forward. So keep your hips nice and open, your pelvis as neutral as possible while you allow your hips to open. Take one more round. Next inhale, side angle. So reach forward, reach, reach, reach. When you can't reach anymore, only your arms have to change. Right arm towards the ground, left arm towards the sky. Keep wrapping your right butt cheek underneath your body and keep pressing through your back foot. If you would like, left arm can reach forward, bicep next to your ear. Yeah, if the half or the full bind is in your practice, you're more than welcome to take it. Heart is open, hips are open, shoulders are open. Last couple of breaths. Thanks, Eric. Beautiful, everybody. From the press of your feet, keep your legs strong. Next inhale, reverse warrior. So see if you can stay in your legs, reach up, reach back. Lengthen through your right side, beautiful. If you want, you can bring your left hand up. Grab hold of your right wrist. Give your right wrist a little tug. See if there's any more space you can create. 
Bend deeply into your right knee, track it towards your pinky toe. One last big inhale. Nice, Johnny. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Back to low lunge. And we're gonna add a twist one more time. So left hand down, right arm up. Open up. Feel the twist coming from your center, strong legs. Beautiful work. Breathe down into your belly. One more big inhale, open through the right side of your heart. Now as you exhale, set your right hand down. Three-legged dog, take your right leg to the sky. Open your right hip. So bend your right knee and peel it open. You are absolutely welcome to stay here. Otherwise, take one more inhale here. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, or as close as you can come. Push the ground away. Yes, nice, Kate. Inhale back up. Option to open your hip if you want, or just extend. Exhale, right knee, right arm. Get as high as you can. Aim for your armpit at a push-up if you want. Don't let your butt drop. Inhale, three-legged dog. This time, square hips, square hips, long through your right leg. Exhale, rock forward, high plank. You can hover right leg or take it your own way. Chaturanga, lower down. Good job. Heart lifts as you breathe in. And whenever you're ready, back to down dog. If you want to grab a quick child's pose or a quick drink of water, feel free. Reconnect to your slow, steady breaths. Notice whatever there is to notice, just flowing through the space of you. Ah. All right, down dog. From your dog pose, next inhale, take your left leg to the sky. And if you want to, feel free to explore a little bit. Open through your hip, roll it out, circle your knee. Yes, eventually square hips, inner thighs face each other. So it might help a lot to bend your right knee, the leg that's on the ground. Bend that knee and come up to your tiptoes, almost like you could pounce forward. Take one more inhale, left leg long, strong, and powerful. Exhale, left knee to your nose. Scoop out your belly, round your spine. Stay here as you breathe in. See if you can push the ground away. Shoulders over wrists. And then step forward as soft as you can. So good. Take your time to rise up. Crescent lunge. So strong, powerful legs, strong foundation. Nice, Emma. And then your upper body is your own unique expression. So it doesn't mean you have to change anything or do anything different physically, but feel into your upper body. What do you want to invite in? What is your intention for your practice today? Is there some way you can embody it here, feel into it or visualize it? So be in your crescent lunge right here in this moment. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, we've got our turbo twist. So right arm reaches forward, left arm swings back. Back knee bends to a hover or absolutely feel free to set your back knee down if you need just a little break. Otherwise, back thigh is pulling energetically forward. Nice, Janet. Feel the twist coming from your strong core. If you want to, maybe gaze back over your left hand. Nice, Leah. Take one more round. Get a little lower in your legs. As you inhale, unwind. Crescent lunge. Reach up. Option to straighten your front leg. Stay on the ball of your back foot. So both legs straight, strong, powerful. Exhale, hands come down. Low lunge. Root into left foot. Float your right leg to the sky. Standing splits. It's just like a one-legged forward fold, so don't psych yourself out. It doesn't have to look anything even close to the splits. See if you can let your neck relax the same way you would do in your forward fold. Yes, good, Sue. Bend your standing leg if it helps, but hug in with your left inner thigh and feel your strong core. Take one more inhale, lift your right leg, spread your right toes. Shiva squat, right knee tucks in the back of your left knee, right heel towards your right glute. Inhale, re-extend, standing splits. Long, strong, powerful. Exhale, small and compact. Empty out, navel to spine, Shiva squat. 
Yes, inhale, re-extend, three total. This is your last one with your exhale, Shiva squat, right knee tucks in, inhale, re-extend, and then mindfully, intentionally, right foot to the back of your mat, set up warrior two legs, and rise when you are ready, Virabhadrasana two. So track your front knee towards your pinky toe rather than letting it just fall in. So squeeze your outer left glute. Yes, shoulders stack over hips. Back leg feels just as strong and supportive as your front leg. So feel your back thigh. Squeeze your thigh muscles around your femur bone. So see if you can feel the power in that leg. It's like they're holding on to your femur bone. Next time you inhale, Reach forward, feel like you're sliding your rib cage. Reach, reach, reach. When you can't reach anymore, only thing that has to change is your arms. Left arm towards the ground, right arm towards the sky. Nice, Alyssa. Or maybe your right arm wants to reach forward today. So you can try something different if you want to. Half bind, full bind, more than welcome. Wherever you choose to go, your heart wants to look up. So see if you can let it. Yes, nice, Tracy. Heart open, shoulders open, hips open. Back leg strong, nice. Okay, last couple of rounds, soften through your face. Beautiful. Keep your strong legs, press into your feet. Next inhale, reverse warrior. So reach up, reach back. Keep that deep bend in your front knee. Keep tracking it towards your pinky toe. Good, breathe into your left side. Lift your left ribs up away from your left hip if you want. You can reach up, grab hold of your right, or excuse me, of your left wrist with your right hand and give it a gentle tug. See if there's any more space you can find. One last huge inhale. Amazing friends, exhale. Cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. So pivot to the ball of your back foot, add a twist. Right hand down, left arm up, open up. So left side of your heart opens. Maybe even gaze up at your left hand. Nice, Andrea. Keep your strong legs. Imagine the power of the pose is coming out of your back toes, moving through your back leg, and then connecting to your center. Yes, beautiful. One last inhale. Exhale, unwind. Plant both of your hands. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Left leg to the sky. Open up your left hip. So bend your knee and peel it open. If you want to, you can absolutely hang out here. Otherwise, one more inhale here. Exhale, little twist. Left knee, right elbow. Get as close as you can. Push the ground away. Yes, inhale back up. Option to open your hip if you want. Exhale, left to left. Aim high. Aim for your armpit. Maybe even add a little push up. Nice, Emma. Back up. This time, square hips. Inner thighs face each other. Exhale, rock forward, your variation. Plank to chaturanga, you can take it as three-legged. You can take it with your knees down. So you do you, this is your practice. We'll see you back in down dog, no rush. Once you are there, reconnect to ujjayi, your big, powerful breaths. Yeah, if you want to, child's pose is more than welcome. Hero's pose. Kneeling meditation, more than welcome. So give yourself a moment just to reconnect, just to feel your slow, spacious breaths. Feel all that energy inside of your body. It's always there. It's always inside of you. It's just harder to feel. It's harder to notice sometimes. We'll move through that entire flow, that entire sequence. Couple more rounds, breath to movement. So we'll be going faster, but that doesn't mean we speed through it without any awareness. It means we move really slowly and intentionally with our slow, intentional breaths. We transition slowly and intentionally connected to our center. If at any time you wanna take a break, you wanna do your own thing, please feel free. If you're coming with me, downward facing dog, Take a great big inhale into your dog pose. Push the ground away. And then exhale, gaze forward however you want to get there. Top of your space, forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. Everything nice and long. 
Beautiful. And let it go. Fold. Ha. Find emptiness. Connect to your center and rise. Arms to the sky. Breathe in. Hands to heart. Breathe up. All right. Here we go with our flow. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, chair plane or drinking bird. So bend your knees, swing your arms back, maybe lift to tiptoes. Option to stay on tiptoes all the way up high mountain. So big balance challenge. If you want it, stay on your tiptoes as you dive forward. Stick your butt out, feel your strong core. Yes. Nice, Courtney. Heels on the ground as you breathe in. Halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. See if you can keep that exhale going as you lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart, grow into your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful breath, right leg high, inhale. Exhale, use your strong core, step forward softly. Inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Nice work. Exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm back, back knee bends to a hover. Inhale, back to crescent, option to extend both legs, strong legs, reach up. Exhale, hands come down, low lunge. Standing splits, inhale, left leg high. Just one time, exhale, Shiva squat. Left knee tucks in the back of right, get small. Inhale, re-extend, get long. You can even try a handstand hop if you want. Exhale, set your left foot on the back of your mat. And with your in-breath, rise, warrior two. Exhale, side angle, reach forward, tip it over and empty all the way out. Stay in your legs, reverse warrior. Rise up, reach up, reach back. Beautiful, exhale. Cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. And add a twist as you breathe in. Right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, three-legged down dog. Open your hip. Exhale, stay or right knee, left elbow. Use your core. Yes, inhale, three-legged scorpion, your right leg if you want. You don't have to. Right to right, aim high on your right arm. Exhale, inhale, back up this time, square hips. Exhale, rock forward, playing through chaturanga. Inhale, lift your heart. Shoulders open. Yeah, exhale, down dog. Use your breath. Inhale, left leg high. Like you're stepping over something. Exhale, steps through softly. Beautiful, friends. Rise, breathe in. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Thanks, Katie. Exhale, twist. Right arm forward, left arm back, back knee bends. Inhale, come back to crescent, and option to extend both legs. Squeeze through your front thigh. Exhale, hands come down. Ah. Inhale, standing splits. Right leg floats high. Spread your toes. One time, Shiva squat. Right knee tucks to the back of left. Re-extend, handstand hop if you'd like. Exhale, softly, intentionally, right foot back, set up your warrior two legs, and with your in-breath, Virabhadrasana to rise. You got this, inhale, side angle, reach forward, stay in your legs, keep your heart open. Inhale, reverse, keep that deep bend in your front knee, reach up and back. Good job. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. So pivot to the ball of back foot. And with your inhale, add your twist, left arm to the sky. Exhale, unwind, plant your hands. Breathe in, three-legged down dog. Left leg or left hip opens. Stay here and hold or left knee, right elbow. Push the ground away as you come forward. Get as close as you can. Inhale, back up. 
Exhale, left to left. Aim high. Add a push up if you want. So good. Nice. Laura, inhale, square hips. And then exhale, rock forward. Plank to Chaturanga. You can make it your own. Heart lifts with your in breath. Nice, James. Hips lift. Exhale. Take a moment to just be, to just breathe. So feel your body, feel your breath, slow it down if it's sped up. And we'll go through that entire sequence one more time. This time I'm gonna add a few things in. So just like always, stay present, listen to my cues, take what works, and leave the rest behind. If you are coming with me, downward facing dog. All right, big inhale into your dog pose. Exhale, look to the top of your space, however you wanna get there, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, back of your neck long, exhale, fold. Root through your feet all the way up, reach up and stretch tall. Hands to heart, exhale. Last round, listen here, inhale, arms to the sky. Side body stretch of your choice to your right, exhale, up and over. Through center as you inhale, switch to the other side as you exhale. Think of a crescent moon cheek. Inhale back to center. Listen, little baby back bend. Cactus your arms, curl open, navel to spine, protects low back. Inhale, re extend, realign. Now, chair plane or drinking bird, bend your knees, swing your arms back, baby lift to tippy toes. So good, maybe stay on tiptoes, high mountain, all the way up. Amazing, last chance to stay on your tiptoes as you dive down, big huge balance challenge, feel your strong center. Good job, heels on the ground, lift halfway, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, chaturanga or skip it. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, as soft as possible, step through. With your in-breath, press and lunge, rise, reach up. Exhale, turbo twist, left arm forward, right arm back, back knee bends. Now listen, bring your right forearm across your low back, square your shoulders forward, reach your left arm up and back. Keep your back knee bent. Lift your heart, tone your belly, reach back through left fingertips. Amazing, take one more big, huge inhale. Good work, exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, right arm to the sky. Stay with me, you're in a revolve lunge. And exhale, bring your right hand down. Standing splits, left leg high. Exhale, Shiva squat, left knee tucks into the back of right. Inhale, re-extend, take a little handstand hop if you're feeling it. And then set up your warrior two legs, step back softly, intentionally. Inhale, Virabhadrasana two, rise. Exhale, side angle. Now pause in side angle. Option, if you would like, to turn it into a balancing half moon. So reach your right hand forward, float your back leg up. Everything stays open, your heart, your hips, your shoulders. You want to turn it into Ardha Chandra Chapasana, you're more than welcome to. Bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your foot. Yeah. See if you can let your heart open. So use that connection, foot, 
and hand. Kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot, wherever you're at. One more inhale. Good job, friends. And then exhale, see if you can come back to warrior two, soft landing. Take a moment to settle, find your breath. Next inhalation, reverse, reach up, reach back, lengthen right side. Exhale, cartwheel your hands to the ground, pivot to the ball of your back foot. And add your twist, inhale, revolve, lunge. Option to stay here or turn it into a variation of revolve triangle. So you can stay on the ball of your back foot. You might need to scoot your left hand back, start to straighten your front leg by lifting your right butt cheek up and pulling it back. See if you can engage through the front of your right thigh. So that front leg gets as straight as it will go. Keep working your twists. Keep breathing down into your belly. Lift your right butt cheek up, 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 back, back, back. One last round. So nice. End of your exhale, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog. Take your right leg to the sky. Open your right hip. Stay here or right knee, left elbow. Inhale, re-extend. Right to right as you exhale, your last time on this side. Inhale, re-extend. This time, open your hip here. And then choose, stay, or flip your dog. Right foot comes down behind you. Yes. Right arm forward. Maybe right hand behind your head. Imagine your heart wants to look at the front wall. See if you can start to let it. Take one more deep breath. Nice job. Nice job. Come back, downward facing dog, walk it out. Ah, so give yourself a moment, just walk it out. If you would like, keep walking it out. Otherwise, next inhale, rock forward, high plank. Option to hover your right leg. And with your exhale, chaturanga lower slowly. Heart lifts with your inhale. Hips lift, exhale. You are almost there, left leg to the sky, inhale. Now use your strong core, step it through softly, low lunge. Rise, crescent, lift your heart, lift your gaze. Turbo lunge with a twist, right arm forward, left arm back, back knee bends. Now listen, left forearm across low back, square up your shoulders. Reach your right arm up and back. Imagine there's a rope attached to your chest, your heart, and it's lifting up. Take one more inhale. Reach. Good job. Exhale. Right hand to the ground. Left arm to the sky. You're in a revolve lunge. Breathe in. Exhale. Unwind. Standing splits. Inhale. Right leg lifts. Spread your toes. Exhale, Shiva squat, just one more. Inhale, re-extend if you want. Little hop is more than welcome. And then exhale, step back. Nice, Andrea. Set up your warrior two legs and with your in-breath, rise. Your Bhadrasana two. Exhale, side angle, reach, 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 and then tip it over. You can stay in side angle. Or here's another chance for half moon, balance. So reach your left hand forward. Maybe you've got a block. Float your back leg up. Yes, nice, Kel. So back leg is strong, back foot is active. If you want, you can grab your foot. So bend your knee, reach back. Once you've got it, use the gentle leverage of foot kicking into hand, hand pulling into foot. Let your heart open more. Wherever you're at, one last big deep breath. Awesome, Brienne. Slowly re-extend. Exhale, Shiva. Oh, sorry, warrior two. Thanks, Laura. Come back to warrior two, everyone. <laughs> Take a moment. Find your breath. On an inhale, reverse warrior stretch to your left side. Very nice. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. All right, one more time, add your twist, so left arm to the sky. Now you can absolutely stay in revolve, lunge, 
or turn it into revolved triangle. This variation of revolved triangle, you're still on the ball of your back foot. You just start to lift your left butt cheek back and up as you work your front leg as straight as you can. Back leg stays strong. Yes, amazing. Squeeze your front thigh, twist from your center. You've got this last round. Ah, beautiful, low lunge. Inhale, three-legged dog, open your left hip. Stay here or exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, left to left, as high as you can get on your left arm. Inhale, three-legged, open your hips, stay here or flip. Left foot comes down behind, nice and easy. Nice, Lisa. Left arm forward or left hand behind your head. Beautiful. Let your heart open. Take one more big, huge breath down into your belly. Nice, Janet. Come back. Regular down dog, my friends. Walk it out. You can keep walking it out. Or next inhale, rock forward, high plank. Option to hover left leg. Exhale, lower slowly. Heart lifts, peel your heart open, inhale. And then you choose down dog, child's pose, hero's pose. We're just gonna take a moment. Simply breathe, feel, observe. So just notice what's flowing through your inner space. Notice physical sensations. Notice the state, your energetic state of being. Notice any emotions. Notice even thoughts as they come and go. So let this be a time where you just connect to yourself where you connect to your inner world and what's going on inside of you. Sadly, in our society and our culture, we're, giving, we're given so little opportunity to do that. So you've chosen to be here in this space. Stay with yourself. Stay with your body. Stay with your breath. Your next couple, just rise up to hands and knees. All right, from hands and knees, we'll move into a modified side plank on right side. So keep your right hand down, pivot on your right knee so your right foot comes out behind you like a little kickstand and then left leg back. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Left leg back, left arm up. Very nice. So notice if your butt's sticking out behind you and try to squeeze your outer right butt cheek and press your hips forward more. You can keep your left foot on the ground or float your left leg up. If your left leg is floating, make it strong and powerful. Option to reach your left arm forward, lengthen your left side. Final option, if you want to take it, bend your left knee, reach back, grab hold of your left foot. Kick foot into hand, pull a hand back into foot. Rather than kicking your foot up, kick your foot back and see if you can let your heart look up as you press your hips forward. Take one last huge round, nice Leah. And slowly let it go, hands and knees. And then from hands and knees, come down to your forearms, set up for a dolphin pose. So if it helps, you can grab opposite elbows. That's how far apart you want your arms. And then forearms either parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide, press especially into thumbs and index. If you'd rather make a tripod, that'll be a little less intense, that's fine. Relax your neck, press down through your forearms, feel your strong shoulders. Keep all of that, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, come into dolphin pose. So walk your toes as close as you can to your elbows. Do not let your elbows drift apart. Feel that lift that comes from your center. So use your connection to center. Yes, feel that invisible rope pulling up. You can stay where you're at or take your right leg to the sky. 
Use your right leg to lift you out of your upper body. Use your right leg to take weight out of your shoulders. If you want, only if you want, you can take a couple hops toward forearm stand. Right leg is strong, powerful. You got this. Take one more huge breath. Amazing, Em. And then as you are ready, just bring your right foot down, bring your knees down. Take a moment to sit back. Child's embryo. So embryo is just like child's pose, but your arms reach back towards your heels. Might feel nice on your shoulders. Breathe into your low back. Breathe into your hips and your pelvis. And then in your next couple of rounds, downward facing dog. All right. From your down dog, inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forward, low lunge. From your low lunge, you're just gonna start to crawl your hands forward and float your back leg up. Like you're moving into a warrior three with your fingertips on the ground or your hands on a block or blocks. So rather than standing splits, think of spine nice and long, like you're in a halfway lift and hips nice and square. So inner thighs face each other. You can stay here if you want. Otherwise, moving into revolved half moon. Left hand stays down, right hand. I like to bring my right hand to the crease of my right hip and literally push my right hip back. So you'll feel that. Continue to work that twist that you feel. Use your strong core. Maybe eventually your right arm reaches up. Yes, back leg stays strong and powerful. Work the twist from your center. You can bend your standing leg if it helps. Breathe down into your belly. Open, open, open. Take one more breath. You've got this. Awesome, John. Low lunge. So slowly unwind. Step your left foot back. Yeah, hands to the ground. Walk your hands now all the way over to the left long edge of your yoga mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten out your legs. Absolutely anywhere you would like to go here for about five rounds of breath. So you can make this a little more restful, a little more restorative if that's what you're needing. You can make it a little more challenging. You could play, you could headstand, skandasana, twist. Wherever you choose to be, see if you can just stay here in this space on your mat. So there's always that temptation to go somewhere else in your mind, somewhere that seems more interesting. See if you can make this right here the most interesting thing for your mind to focus on. Make being in your body so fascinating. Stay curious about all those little spaces, spaces we didn't even know existed. Take your last breath or two. You can exhale out your mouth. Ah, all right, fingertips to the ground, friends, if they're not there already. Start to crawl your hands to the top of your space. So you're back to a low lunge and just step your back foot forward nice and easy. You're in a forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift position. Realign your spine. Exhale, bow, let it go. Ah, root through your feet and rise all the way up. Arms reach up, big stretch. Hands to your heart center, exhale. All right, we're gonna play with twisted dancer pose. So we will balance on our left foot and we will well, actually, let's balance on right foot first. So right foot first, left knee bends, right hand reaches back to grab your left foot. So I have to kind of go all ski wumpus to get this and then I can come back into alignment. So right hand is grabbing your left foot behind you. Hug in with your inner thighs, extend your left arm up. Roll your right shoulder back. You can stay here if this is enough. Work with your balance here. Otherwise, little bend in your standing leg like your shock absorber. Start to hinge at your hips. Hinge forward and kick your foot into your hand. Nice guy. 
pull your hand back into your foot, squeeze through your inner thighs. See if you can find a little baby cobra in your heart. Amazing. Nice, Kel. Take one more deep breath wherever you are at. Ah, slowly high mountain pose. So arms reach up. Both feet on the ground, both arms to the sky. Feel into your most neutral pelvis and your most neutral spine as you stand. So it might feel weird. You might even bend your knees a little bit. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, dive down slowly. Ha. Good. Lift halfway and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back. Move through your vinyasa however you want. End up in either hero's pose, kneeling meditation, or if kneeling doesn't work for you, any other way you want to sit. So we're going to take just a moment and do a little breath exercise. It's from Kundalini. Many of you are familiar with it probably. Fingertips to your shoulders, elbows straight out. And it's not ujjayi breath we're using, but it's just kind of really strong breath through our nose. We're going to go inhale left, exhale right. Looks like this. You can join me whenever you're ready. So feel that twist coming right from your waistline. You can move your head with your uh, shoulders, or you can keep your head looking straight forward. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale left, exhale right. Keep it going. Close your eyes or keep them open up to you. And try to feel that connection to your center. That's it. Good, you guys. Elbows out. About 10 more rounds. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your arms up, reach up, interlace fingers, steeple index. Squeeze your pelvic floor, root lock, mula bandha. Squeeze everything. Hold, hold, hold. Get taller, taller, taller. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Big open mouth side. Let everything go. Ah. Ooh, good job. Come back to down dog. However you'd like to get there, come back to ujjayi breath. So you can take your time. If you come forward, take some cat cows. Maybe you sit back in child's pose as you reconnect to ujjayi. And then back to down dog and just stretch for a moment. Lengthen your spine, lengthen the backs of your legs. Slow, spacious breath. One more inhale and down dog. And then exhale, just set your knees back down. So you're in tabletop. We're going to come into modified side plank on our left side this time. So pivot on your left knee, left foot comes out behind you, right leg back, and right arm up. Yes. So try not to stick your butt out, but rather press your hips forward. And then option to keep your right foot on the ground, press it down firmly, or float your right leg up and make your right foot active, strong. Right arm can reach forward, bicep next to your ear, or if you want, go for the bind. Bend your right knee, grab your foot. Try not to kick your foot up, but instead kick your foot straight back. Let your heart look up. So as you're kicking your foot back, your hips open up even more. Yes, you've got this. Awesome, Andrea. One more deep breath. Nice, Chris. Slowly let it go. Back to hands and knees. And then set up for one more dolphin pose. Come down to your forearms. If you're like me. I know dolphin is like the worst pose ever. It's so good for our shoulders and our upper back. So just remember that. Forearms parallel, palms face down, fingers spread wide, or tripod your hands. Up to you. Try not to let your elbows come out any wider than shoulders. Let your neck relax. Push down through your forearms and feel your shoulder girdle get strong. As you are ready, tuck your toes, lift your knees, and lift your hips up, coming into your dolphin pose. So walk your toes as close as they will go to your elbows without letting your elbows drift apart. Don't let your head touch the ground. You can stay where you are at or left leg to the sky. So use the strength in your left leg to lift you out of your upper body, to lift you out of your shoulders. Use the strength in your core as much as you can. You can see where you're at. If you want to take little hops, go for it. Just a couple more rounds. You're so much stronger than your mind wants you to think. 
Your body is so much more powerful. Take one more inhale. And if you want, open mouth side. Ah, so nice. Bring your left foot down. Knees down. Child or embryo. So just sit back and rest. Mm, big, spacious breaths. Let your shoulders relax. Breathe down into your low back, low belly. So this is the part of class, I think, when your breath is really so powerful. Your body's tired. Your muscles are fatigued. But your breath is still brand new every time you inhale. So use it. How are you through the rest of class from the inside? All right, friends, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward. And then move into your variation of warrior three with your hands on blocks or fingertips on the ground. So start to crawl your hands forward and float your back leg up. Yes, nice, Courtney. Your hips are square. So square, square hips, yes. And then spine, it's like it's in a halfway lift, nice and long. If you want to stay here, totally fine with me. Otherwise, left hand to that crease in your left hip. Put your fingers or your thumb in that crease and push your left hip back, literally. Good guy. So you should feel that twist that begins. You start to look to the left. Keep working that twist with your strong core. Squeeze through your inner thighs. And eventually, your left arm might reach up. Yeah, twist from your center. Make sure your hips are square. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to find the twist where you want to find the twist. Take one or two more breaths. You've got this amazing work. And then come into your low lunge. Nice and easy. Unwind. Woo, hands to the ground. Walk your hands over to the right long edge of your mat. Parallel your feet. Straighten your legs. One more time. Anywhere you want to go in your wide-legged straddle. So you can stay in a fold. If you feel like rising up and standing up and working it from standing in some way, go for it. Maybe you interlace your fingers behind you. Maybe you headstand. Maybe you handstand. Hop. Skandasana. Twist. Thanks, Caro. It's all you. So your body, your breath, see if you can just stay. Stay in this room. Stay on your mat. Feel. Love it, you guys. Awesome work. Last couple of rounds if you're working somewhere. Start to slowly wrap it up. And then fingertips on the ground if they're not there already. And just walk your hands to the top of your space. So you're back to low lunge. And then step your back foot forward so you're in a forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. Root through your feet and rise all the way up. Arms reach. Hands to your heart center. All right, balancing one more time, twisted dancer. So this time, right knee bends, right heel towards your right butt cheek, left hand reaches back, grab hold of your foot. So once you've got your foot, see if you can come back into alignment. So hugging towards midline, it's like your knees are flirting with each other. So hug in, find that connection to center. Right arm reaches up whenever you're ready. You can stay here or start to work that hinge at your hips, your left hip. And as you hinge forward, your right foot is kicking into your left hand. Your left hand is pulling back into your right foot. Inner thighs hug in. So nice, you guys. Beautiful awareness. See if you can lift your heart like you're doing a cobra pose. Might be really helpful to bring a bend into your standing leg. Take one or two more rounds. Your personal fullest expression. And then high mountain is where we'll end up. So when you are ready, both feet down, both arms up. Ah, yes. Feel into your personal most neutral pelvis, most neutral spine. So that might, again, that might mean you bend your knees. It might feel weird to stand in a neutral way. Lots of us don't. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, hinge at your hips, dive down slowly. Ah. 
So good. Lift halfway with your inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, feet back, vinyasa your way, however you'd like. And one more time, meet either in hero's pose, kneeling meditation, or any other seated position that works better for you. And this time we're gonna take breath of fire. Again, most of you are familiar with it. If you are not, it's a strong exhale that comes from all the way down in your gut. So not up here, all the way down here. It's like you're getting punched in the gut. It's like a dog pants. So the inhale happens on its own. You don't have to really think about it. It's just like a refilling. And the exhale, huh, huh, it's like you're pumping your breath out. If you don't get it right away, that's okay. We'll do about 50 pumps. And then we'll do a hold at the top just like we did before. Let it go. All right. So start. You can bring your hands to your belly if you want. Helps me. Exhale all the way to empty. Inhale to about halfway full. And then we'll begin. Through your mouth or nose is fine. Good, you're halfway, stay with it. From your gut, from your belly. Feel your strong core, your center, your power. That's it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Great big inhale, reach up. Hold at the top, interlace fingers, steeple index, mula bandha, squeeze everything, let your breath circulate around, get taller, squeeze, and big sigh, ha, let it all go. Oh, good job. Come forward to hands and knees when you're ready and find your way back to down dog. So any movement you want to take to get there. Once you're back in down dog, ujjayi, bring it back, slow, steady, deep. All right, inhale your right leg high. And exhale, pigeon pose. Set your right shin at the top of your mat and set your body down gently. So if you'd rather take this, friends, in a seat or on your back, please, please feel free. Absolutely, you're welcome to. If there's some variation you like, please feel free. And we've got about seven to 10 rounds, so you will be here for a moment. See if you can allow yourself to stay, especially these poses that are uncomfortable. I know it's so tempting to go somewhere else. Your mind wants to focus on something more interesting, more fun. Remind every time you've gone somewhere else, remind your mind, like, hey, mind, we're just sitting here today. We're just hanging out. We're just listening to ourselves breathe, feeling sensations in our body. So start to make this. If this is so boring for you to just sit here and do nothing in pigeon pose, See if you can make it more interesting for yourself. Get curious. Make little tiny adjustments. See if you can breathe bigger than you even thought possible. And any time you would like, give yourself an open mouth sigh. Take about four or five more. You can exhale out your mouth anytime. Uh, no 
I'll just leave it up to you. Your next couple rounds, friends, however you want to, to slowly start a transition back to down dog. So any way you want to get there. You can move through a vinyasa. Take some circles with your hips. And just eventually down dog. Walk it out. I'm just going to say in your own time, whenever you're ready, find your way into pigeon pose on your left side. But please don't feel rushed. Eventually your left shin to the top of your space and just gently settle in breath by breath. Take about four or five more breaths. Ah, open mouth sigh, always welcome. Ultimately, I'm just going to leave it up to you. You can stay a bit longer, but when you feel pretty much even on both sides, find your way just slowly back to one last down dog. If you're already on your back and you'd rather wait for us there, that's fine. Put your back in that final down dog, just walk it out. If you want to take one last vin vinyasa, now would be your time. If you'd rather take a child's pose instead, please feel free. So I'm just going to say everybody in your next few rounds, However, you want to eventually get there all the way down to your back. So you can get there in some fancy yoga way, or you can just plop yourself down. You can face whichever direction you would like to. Peace, James. And then once you're on your back, no rush, but just draw your knees in. Gently rock it out side to side. After a few rock, find a supine spinal twist of your choice. Legs over to the right. Left arm either extends out to the left or cactus with your left arm against the ground. Breathe down into your belly. Notice if your front ribs want to lift a lot. See if you can let your back ribs stay as rooted or as close to the ground as possible. So especially your left side as your knees go right. Think of your left rib. Try to get it down towards the ground a little bit more. 
Take just a couple more breaths here. And then as you are ready, ease your way to the other side. So you don't have to just plop your knees to the other side, but take a moment as you come through center. Take a moment to kind of neutralize. Give now, give all your weight to the ground. Let yourself really feel held and supported by the earth. Really let your body melt with each exhale a little bit more. When you feel pretty much even on both sides with your twists, come back to center, find a happy baby pose. You can kind of rock it out in your happy baby side to side and body a happy baby. Exploring your body. Maybe extend one or both legs. Maybe bring the soles of your feet together. And if there's any other poses, any last little stretches, movements that you want to take for yourself, anything else that your body is calling for, give yourself about five to ten breaths to move through any of those. And as you slowly make your way to your final relaxation, my friends, I have a little reading for you. It's by Thich Nhat Hanh. And it's from his book called How to Eat. He says, wash every bowl, every dish, as if you are bathing a baby, breathing in, feeling joy, breathing out, smiling. Every minute can be a holy, sacred minute. Where do you seek the spiritual? You seek the spiritual in every ordinary thing that you do every day. And sweeping the floor, watering the vegetables, and washing the dishes become holy and sacred if mindfulness is there. With mindfulness and focus, everything becomes spiritual. So I think that's what this practice is, is it's just teaching us how to live our lives in a more mindful way, in a more connected way, in a more present way. It's teaching us to be in tune with our bodies and feel whatever it is they're trying to say to us, the whispers. So these last few moments, friends, even as you just lay on the ground doing nothing, Feel all the space inside of you. Feel the vibrations, the sounds of the bowls as they move through you. And just notice whatever there is to notice flowing through. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Ah. Just bring little movements back into your physical body. Wiggle fingers, toes. Maybe give yourself a little forehead massage or temple massage or even jaw massage. And then eventually start to find your way over onto either side, fetal position. And just for one last moment, curl into yourself this nurturing pose. So let yourself be held a little bit longer. And in some way, as you rest on your side body, in some way, just visualize, use your imagination. Visualize your practice, all the energy from it. Visualize all the energy from that sound bath, just kind of soaking in, seeping in, absorbing into your body, your being. And then use the strength in your arms to guide yourself up into seated meditation. And we'll finish our practice. We'll close our practice here together with just one great big collective ohm. So close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart if you want. You can press one palm on top of the other or prayer hands. And try not to worry about how you sound, but focus more on just your own vibration and how it feels coming through your body, moving through you and expressing out of you as your voice. So start by exhaling, emptying out, clear your throat if you need to. Breathe in your voice. Open your mouth big and wide. Ah. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here, for letting me guide you. Namaste. Oof. another one down. Good job, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And have a lovely Sunday.